All right, this is just a little rant on how I have to deal with women online and how I've had to deal with people, women really, guys not so much, but women in the workplace at old jobs talking about how I'm a serial killer because I'm socially awkward. You know, it's because I have autism. It's like people, these women, I guess not all women, but these women are telling people I'm a serial killer because I'm socially awkward it's because they can't separate TV from reality. They base their knowledge of what serial killers are like off of TV, you know. If you really look at serial killers, you know, you don't know when serial killers are serial killers because serial killers are so good at mimicking normal people that you can't tell. They're so good at mimicking empathy that you can't tell that they're sociopaths or psychopaths. I mean, if you look at Ted Bundy, for instance, you know, he only was so successful because he was so good at imitating the average person, you know. In fact, when the police got people, found witnesses who described the individual who was, who was supposedly kidnapping those girls, they found out that this person looked like Ted Bundy. The thing is, Ted Bundy actually looked for the police, worked for the police. He may have even been a, prof a criminal profiler. I'm not sure what he did, but he worked with the police. And even when they thought he could be, you know, the guy who was, you know, kidnapping those girls, they still didn't investigate him for a long time because they thought he couldn't possibly be a serial killer because he didn't fit the M.O. of one. So, that's the thing. Just because someone is socially awkward, usually so, someone is socially awkward, that means they're not a serial killer. They're just socially awkward, you know? Usually if someone's a serial killer, they're going to be so good at imitating the average behavior of people that you won't know. That's the scary thing. And don't think just because you saw something on TV, it's real. In order to really understand a uh, serial killer... You need a master's in psychology. You need to study forensic psychology. You know, you can't really understand. So, don't act like you know a serial killer acts like just because you saw some fictional program on TV. Because guess what? TV is not real. <laughs>